Hi, my name is Tammy Howie, and I'm the CEO of the Maryland Technology Council. So I spent many years um, in uh, technology law at uh, DLA Piper. I started there when it was Piper and Marbury. We were about 400 lawyers and I was in the DC office. I hit it at the right time. It was an amazing time where technology was you know, running faster than you could keep up with. So I would start with a company that was two guys in a garage and six months later we'd be talking to bankers when they were still on QuickBooks. So I got very lucky. Um, I walked, worked with a guy named Ned Martin, who was my senior partner, and my very first client was Ray Ozzie, the inventor of Lotus Notes. And he was absolutely amazing, and he did a company called Groove Network, and I worked with him uh, and did a deal with Microsoft right out of the gate. And one of my other very first clients uh, was a company that went public within six months, and when we met with bankers, they had um, still had their QuickBooks, and we had to quickly get them accountants. Um, so it was a really interesting time for me, and I fell in love with, with technology. I planned to be a litigator, and I got put in the technology section, business law, and I would planned to shine and be able to move, and then I absolutely fell in love with technology and stayed with it, and I've probably done while I was at Piper, I probably did 150 M&A deals, probably did as many venture deals, and really did anything that touched money to growing companies. I spent, you know, 15 years or so as a lawyer in the tech firms and kept selling my companies and would get them investment and grow them and they'd go public or they would go, um, go for sale, you know, multiples of 10, 20, 30 times, which was unbelievably rewarding. But I always lopped off right, I always stopped representing them right when it got good. So right when the integration started. So in 2010, I found out that there was a company right in Virginia that was looking for a uh, general counsel. So I went and interviewed with them and the CEO and I instantly hit it off and realized that we could work great together. He also was a redhead like I was, so that worked out well. Um, he was crazy. He drove a Harley and was part uh, Cherokee Indian. Um, so the two of us got along great because we I like to run fast is what I like to do. So the company was planning to go public, planning to acquire a bunch of companies, so I was the perfect general counsel. Unfortunately, two weeks in, they lost a, a major contract, so I became a litigator after all and did a bunch of lawsuits with them and, and figure out kind of what was their next move. The CEO got throat cancer, so I became acting president while he was away and ran the company for five years and um, eventually sold them to an Indian tribe uh, where they became a Super 8A, which was really great. It was one of the tribes I had worked with as a lawyer, um, so it was perfect because we became a Super 8A. They got 25 years past performance and um, it was a perfect marriage. And then I was going to retire for a couple months and not do much. And three weeks into it, my family came to me and said, you really need to do something else. You're driving us crazy. Your type A personality isn't working so well. And so I started looking around at nonprofits and found that the Chesapeake Regional Tech Council, the CEO position, executive director position was actually open. So I went ahead and started talking to them. And the funny thing is, is while I was at the law firms, I was the liaison, the tech councils around the world. So I was in Women in Bio out at the Tech Council of Maryland, and I actually worked on the merger the first time as the outside counsel of the high tech side and the bio side back in 2005. I had never really worked with the Chesapeake Regional Tech Council before. I'd never done anything with them. I knew they existed, but I didn't know anybody there. So when I actually met with them, and I realized that they were kind of the young, exciting startups that had, you know, come out of the fact that nobody was serving the younger guys and the people east of the, uh, the Beltway. And um, they really rolled up their sleeves and were a grassroots kind of uh, organization that really dug in and helped grow companies. They seemed like they were a right fit for me. So that's how I ended up here. <laughs>